tell people that we're childhood sweethearts and that's, although he that's is, photographic evidence although he is exaggerating slightly it is true in a certain sense because um, the thing is that our families both our families uh, were friends from before he and I were born um, I think once we started primary school we didn't really see each other anymore then um, Derek went overseas to study for a number of years and uh, he reconnected about we like 24, 25, maybe 8, eight years ago. Yeah, we, we had like a very close group of friends. Then we, then a lot of common uh, friends. Common friends. So we started hanging out quite a lot. Um, so we weren't, we weren't actually dating, dating as in like, hey, you want to go out for a date kind of dating. <laughs> yeah, we just, it started very naturally yeah, so by very hanging out. Um, organic process, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy that I met someone, I was very happy that I met someone who enjoyed eating and um, drinking as much as I did because you know there are people who eat to live and then there are people who live to eat, yeah. right? I think we fall into the latter category, we really 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 love food and like trying all kinds of different food so I know that I have someone who if I say like hey let's go try this new like Greek restaurant or we want to go and have like Spanish food here and, like he won't ever say no. He'll be like, okay, yeah, let's, let's do that. Another thing that we both really love apart from food would be music. Yeah, so we've gone uh, for a lot of concerts. We went to every concert in Singapore that we could, that we could go for. So it's, it's everything from, uh, from festivals to Belly Under the Stars to, to musicals to stage plays and you know. Yeah. Um, Anything with music involved. Yeah. Um, the thing is that um, we've, it's nice that we've both gotten to see a lot of our favorite bands together. Yeah. yeah. And she even followed me to all the metal gigs, like Russian Circles and <laughs> Nine Inch Nails. I don't think any any male can subject like <laughs> his um, wife to <laughs> that kind of stuff. But uh, she willingly comes with me. So, and I enjoy it. So yeah, yeah, she enjoys it. So yeah. you know, I know I found uh, <laughs> because of that. Yeah. This was a funny story because uh, we didn't, or I didn't follow the typical the traditional steps. Steps. To proposing uh, to, to your proposing. girlfriend. Um, uh, we were at Very another concert. concert. It was Mono. Uh, this was at Zook. So we were like one of two of uh, thirty or forty. It's a very intimate, people, intimate concert <laughs> session. Um, after that, we stayed on and we had friends. Yeah. Uh, after that, all our friends came down. All our friends came down, and we were. And we were I mean, we were partying. So and this is this is tip a tip to anyone who's wanting to propose uh, and nervous about nervous it. Nervous about it, doesn't know how to do it. As long as you get her, um, I wouldn't say drunk, but uh, happy high. Happy high. Yeah. The and chances get, of like you know, know, and getting success. yourself, getting yourself, uh, you know, with, with a bit of courage. Uh, I think you know you, you you find it a lot easier than and less daunting. <laughs> Your know, success becomes a little bit higher. I yeah, because <laughs> she can't say no, and you, you, you have no problem. What if I can't say no? I could have said no. Oh, I can't say no. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very improvised, um, spontaneous, spontaneous <laughs> proposal. Proposal. He didn't um, have a ring. I didn't have a ring. He didn't have a plan. I didn't have a plan. Yeah. I just, I just was in the moment. You see, so, uh, you know, it just happened, and she said yes. So, I mean, I don't think she'd have it any. Other, other way. way and it was great because we had all our friends there so immediately after he proposed we could celebrate with them it was like an immediate engagement party that was not even planned beforehand yeah. how i ended up working with her is because i needed a customized or personalized uh i wanted something that is you know from you know it's not off the rack it's not your typical uh you know i just buy and yeah a ring yeah propose you know i, I didn't want that i wanted something more more meaningful. meaningful and I wanted the ring to represent her or have elements of her personality uh, in it right so I think the diamond uh, is an heirloom uh, diamond for my mom it's a pear, it's a pear shape. shaped diamond um, you know so what you see in the ring is that it I think she set it really really elegantly to bring out that diamond the cut so um, like with regards to weaving in bits of my personality uh, into the design, um, 
I think what Derek told her is that um, I have a, I like very elegant uh, things, but I, I I really also like like the little details, like subtle details. I guess taking so much attention to the detail of of, of the couple, mm -hmm. and and I think that that makes a big difference because at the end of the day, there's this story to tell about about the piece or the pieces that we have with her, yeah. and you know that that kind of stuff it. It's more than just a thing. It's more than just a diamond or a ring. You know, it's also a personal experience that mm -hmm. that we'll remember forever. You know.